Hey everyone, this is Julia from Crocoblock and in today's tutorial we will create a registration form with email verification step by step. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done this yet and also hit the notification bell. Besides, if you want to see more useful tutorials on this channel, like this video and leave your comments down below. With the help of the JetForm Builder plugin, it is possible to create a front-end registration form with email confirmation. To register on the site, the user should input the login and email address and follow the verification link sent to the mailbox. Once the user follows the link, the registration process is completed. Email verification helps validate the user request before the form is submitted. Also, it makes the registration process fast and effortless since creating a password to complete the registration is not required. The user can use an automatically generated password to log into the site in the future. By the way, since JetForm Builder is updated to 3.3, now you can verify emails manually, so stay tuned to the very end to know how to set everything up. So let's start with proceeding to the WordPress dashboard, JetForm Builder, Add New, enter the form title, and pick this pattern from the welcome block. In case you missed it and you want to know what these patterns are, just take a look at our JetForm Builder 3.3 overview. So the pattern already has two text fields, email and login. In the right sidebar with block settings, you can change the field label and the form field name of the text fields according to your preferences. However, note that the field type of the email field should stay as email. Ok, now let's add a checkbox field below. Leave the field label empty and define the form field name, for example, remember me. Press the Manage Items button to configure the options for this checkbox field. In the opened pop-up, click the Add New Option button, complete a label field, for example, Remember Me, and insert one as the value option. Once you're done, click Update. Now it's time to set up Post Submit Actions. Switch the Block Settings tab in the right sidebar to the Jet Form tab. The register user pattern added three post submit actions verification, register user, and save form record. Let's start configuring the verification action. Click the pencil icon under the verification action to open the customization pop up. The verification action sends an email with the verification link to the specified email address. The user should press this link within the defined time frame to complete the verification. Once the verification is complete, the rest of the post-submit actions will be executed. Who can verify the submission defines who has the authority or capability to verify or approve a submitted form. With the first option, the user can verify the form with the email and the admin can verify it manually from the WordPress dashboard. And with the second option, only administrators have the authority to verify the submission. After setting the verification permission, enter the number of hours into the link lifespan field. This setting defines the time frame within which the verification link remains active. If the link lifespan field is left empty, or if zero is entered, the verification link will not have an expiration time. After that, choose the email field from the suggestions under the email field drop-down menu. Once the email field is specified, a new toggle will appear, encouraging you to create custom verification email. If the toggle remains disabled, a standard email will be sent to the user from the administration email address set in the WordPress dashboard 
Settings, General tab. Enable the Create Custom Verification Email toggle and proceed to the rest of the action settings. We will set up the send email action later. Now move on to the success page and the failed page settings. Select a page where the user should be redirected in case of a successful or failed verification. If no page is selected, the user will be redirected to the page where the form was initially submitted. It is also possible to configure a separate redirect to page action for each case. Once you finish the setup of this action, click the Update button to save the changes. In case you want to set up the Register User action with the auto-generated password, press the pencil icon right here to edit the Register User Actions settings. In the Fields Map section, the Email and the Login fields are already mapped. Therefore, the value entered by the user into the login field will be saved as the user login and the value of the email field will be saved as the user's email. The Secure Unique Token option is added by the verification action and represents a unique password auto-generated after form submission. And this way the form lets the user sign up with only their email and login, not requiring them to create a password manually at this stage. Later, this password will be sent to the user with the send email action. Now scroll past and select the user role, which should be assigned to the newly registered user. The next one, scroll down to find and activate the login user after register toggle. This way, the user will be automatically logged in after completing the verification process. Select the Remember Me checkbox field as the Remember Me field option. This field helps to keep the user authenticated for a longer period of time. After checking the Remember Me checkbox, the user will remain logged in for 14 days, if not, only for 2 days. We have finished setting up the Register User action, so save the settings and proceed to the next step. The Save Form Record action stores the submitted form data on the Form Records page. In this case, I don't need to modify the action settings, but you can configure them according to your needs. And now it's time to create a custom verification email. Open the settings of the verification action once more to click the plus add send email action button. It will automatically add a new send email action where each part of the verification email can be customized. Leave the mail to and the from field settings intact and proceed to configure the rest of the fields. After setting up the reply to, subject, from name, and from email address fields, select the HTML content type to allow the processing of HTML tags in the content of the email. And then edit the content of the email according to your needs. It is also possible to insert macros to retrieve the values entered by the user into the form field. The list contains general macros that represent each form field and three special macros added by the verification action. So the first one represents a unique token generated for the user. If this token was set as the user password in the register user action settings, you can insert a verification token macro in the email content to send the user this automatically generated password. The user will use it to log in. Verification token ID represents the ID of the verification token in the database. A reference to each verification token is saved in the database table, however the token itself is not stored there. And a verification URL is a verification link 
the user receives to complete the verification process. The link contains the verification token and its ID. I used only the verification URL macro from the above list and composed such an email. Once you're done, click the Update button to close the customization window and proceed to the following Send Email action. So the next step is to compose an email which will be sent to users after they complete the registration. The letter will include an automatically generated password that users can use to log into the site until they opt to modify it. Press the blue New Action button to add a new Send Email action and click the pencil-shaped icon under the action name to call the customization pop-up. Select the Email from Submitted Form field option for the Mail To field. And then pick the Email field in the Form field drop-down menu, which appears below. After setting up the Reply To, Subject, from name and from email address field, select the plain text content type option to allow the processing of HTML tags in the content of the email. Select the HTML content type. Finally, compose the content of the letter which the users receive after they complete the registration. Make sure to include a verification token macro to send the users their auto-generated password. Once you're finished with the settings, update the changes. Now scroll past the Post Submit Actions Settings tab and unfold the General Messages Settings. Settings in this tab allows changing the default notifications that pop up after the form submission. Most importantly, change the default form successfully submitted message and encourage users to check their mailbox after they submit the form. For example, please check your email inbox to complete the registration. Once you finish customizing the form messages, the form is complete. Hit the Publish or Update button to save the result. Now go to the page or template where the registration form should be located. If editing the page with Block Editor, use the JetForm block to display the form in the needed part of the page. If editing with Elementor, use the JetForm widget to place the form on the page. Select the form you just created, adjust the form style, and it's pretty much it. I'm going to proceed to the front end and complete the form to register a new user. When the form is submitted, check the email inbox for a new letter containing the verification link. Simply follow the link to complete the registration. After following the link, you should be redirected to the page previously selected in the settings of the verification action. The registration is complete and a new user is created. Also, there will be the second email containing the password to the account. With the Save Form Record Post Submit action, you can reach the submitted form data Simply proceed into your website's dashboard, JetForm Builder, Form Record tab. If the form has the verification action, the submitted form can have such statuses. Verified if the user verified the form from the email or the administrator verified it manually. Awaiting verification if the user or admin has not verified the form yet. Verification token expired if the user or admin did not manage to verify the form in the timeframe set in the link lifespan settings of the verification action, and then the user needed to submit the form one more time to verify it. That can also be an invalid email status, which means the user entered an email that cannot receive emails. It includes incorrect formatting like typos and syntax errors, 
or when the email address simply does not exist. If the submitted form has the awaiting verification status, it contains the verify manually action by clicking which the form obtains the verified status. If you hit view under the form with the awaiting verification status, you will see this verification section. This section shows the verification status – pending, expired, or verified. It also displays the time when the verification expires, expired, or was verified according to the status. If the verification has a pending status, the section contains the verify button with which the administrator can verify the form. Also, pay attention to the actions log section. If the form is expired or waiting for verification, only two actions are completed verification and a send email with a custom verification email. If the user or administrator verifies the form, the next two actions are completed. Register user and a send email with the password details. And this will be it for this tutorial. Now you know how to create a registration form using only the free version of the Jetform Builder plugin. And don't forget to check the links in the description down below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and of course, make sure you are subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.